Oh, oh man, hey, uh, give me a second here to load your video. I totally wasn't expecting any visitors on this video today. Uh, but hey, while you're here, don't forget at the end of the video after it's loaded, go ahead and click subscribe. And you can even follow me on Twitch for live videos at Giovanni Legend. All right, I've noticed a lot of people here in 2020 are having problems with their Xbox Ones yet again. One of my older videos that shows you how to resolve the problem of the games not loading or the error says it took too long to load. There are people saying that that still works and there's still quite a bit more, unfortunately, that says it does not work. If you're one of those people or if you simply just need to restore your Xbox One to the day you purchased it, like it just came from the factory, this is the video you're going to want to watch. I'm going to show you step by step how to do this. Now, please note you will need a USB drive and a working computer to be able to retrieve the file and put it on the USB drive. And the file that you're putting on there will be what's used to actually restore your console. Don't just jump ahead, though, and assume you know how to do every little thing on it because you do have to do certain things on your console after you download the file. All right, so let's go ahead and get started here on this. Starting out, you do need to get on your computer. Go ahead and pull up a web browser. I've already got mine preloaded here, as you can see. What you're going to want to do is on Google type in Xbox One System Restore. When you do that, you can scroll down and you'll see the one here that's support.xbox.com right here that says Reset Xbox One Console to Factory Defaults. Go ahead and click on that. Let the page load. Now this is just going to give you a quick tutorial on how to reset your Xbox. This is not what we came here for. This is not what we're interested in. You want to scroll down to this part right down here that says reset using a USB flash drive. Go down. I'll click the little down arrow next to it. And you'll see step one on your computer. Click down arrow on that. Note here. It does need to be formatted to an NTFS format, which I will be showing you how to do that, so don't go panicking and thinking you don't know how to do it. So it will tell you, go ahead and plug in your USB drive on your computer and get it reset to NTFS format, and then you'll have this rest uh, Restore Factory Defaults right here. If you click on this, this is actually going to be the file that you'll be downloading to put on the USB drive. And you will need a program like uh, WinZip, WinRAR, anything to extract a zip file or a RAR file will do sufficiently on this instance. So go ahead and click that to download it. And you'll see down here in the lower left of my browser, it's factoryreset.zip is now downloaded. And then give me just a second here and I'll go ahead and plug in my USB drive. I'm doing it this way to show you step by step exactly how this works. That way you don't get lost in the process or need any additional help, hopefully. You can see that pulled mine up immediately. I've got temp as M drive right here. What you're going to want to do is right click on it. And you should have an option a little ways up that says format. Go ahead and click on that. Then you'll have this window that pops up. And you want to keep the capacity at its default, but instead of the file system being FAT32, by default, you want to switch that over to NTFS. You can label it as whatever you want. Uh, you know, if you want to remember what it is later down the line, you can rename it as, you know, Xbox Restore or whatever you want to call it so you know. You can even leave it at quick format just to get it done with, done and over with. It'll pop up a warning telling you that it will erase all data on the disk. So go ahead and click yes. And okay, make sure it's one that you want to use for this and you don't have any crucial files on it, you know, like family photos or anything. Well, it's taking a little bit longer than I expected it to on this drive. It should be formatted here pretty quick, though. Or it could be having problems. I might have a bad USB drive here. Now 
let's cancel that see if we can jump out of it here nope it's going to lock up completely awesome there we go nope, it's gonna keep on trying awesome there we go anyway that should be formatted now hopefully so let's go ahead and click on our file explorer yep and then I have temp m colon and I do apologize for that taking so long I don't know what the deal was with that not working properly anyway back in your browser you can click on the factory reset dot zip and it should open it with your uh, primary program that uses it you'll see a dollar sign system update folder you just want to click extract to and you can just type in right here on the line or however yours works just the m colon backslash and then just kind of wait it out and let the whole thing extract All right, we are extracted and ready to go. There you go. You'll see on my M drive here, I have the system update folder. Do not mess with it. You don't have to go into the folder or anything. You just want to go ahead and close out of that and pull your USB drive out of your computer. Now, I'm not going to be able to physically show you this part, but on your Xbox One, I want you to go ahead and power it down all the way. Hold the power button until it fully turns the system off. Once it's off, go ahead and unplug the power cord. Now that the power cord's unplugged, insert the USB drive that you just created into either of the USB ports on the console on the front. Uh, if you've got one of the newer systems that only has one on the front, it's fine. Just go ahead and plug it in. After you got the USB drive plugged in, go ahead and plug your console back in, but do not power it up. You will want to find the eject button and your sync button for your controller. Not the one on the controller, but the one on the console itself. So you'll be holding both of those buttons at the exact same time. Hold down your eject button and hold down the sync button. While holding both of those down, go ahead and power on your Xbox One. When it begins to power up, it should come up to a screen for formatting it and it will use the USB drive to completely wipe the system clean and reset it back to day one. So, I mean, you will lose everything in this process, but it should correct any problems you have with the system unless it's an actual hardware failure or like your hard drive is actually dying. Aside from hardware failure, I'm sorry, hardware failures and the hard drive dying, this system restore should take care of any problems you have with games and apps not loading, the system running excessively slow because it's been bogged down over the year or whatever. So go ahead and do this process if you're comfortable with doing it this way and have the means to be able to do it and is, you're okay with losing all the data on your system. Make sure you remember your login and password for your Xbox account and everything else because you will need those once you boot the system back up. So anyway, I hope this helps some people uh, get their systems resolved since the older video is apparently not working for some people now. And if it did, go ahead and leave a like on the video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. And I'll even see you on Twitch as Giovanni Legend.